Hi, I'm Bill Griffith, an application engineer with Keysight Technologies. In an earlier video, we showed you how to use our AC source to test a universal power supply using Excel and a Visual Basic program. And now I want to open up the Visual Basic program and show you how that actually works. So let's take a look. So this is our Excel spreadsheet. And as you can see, we have um, voltage and frequency combinations and that we'll use our program to set up our AC source with these voltage and frequency combinations. And then from the source, we'll read back our watts, our apparent power, and also our power factor. And again, the product has 17 different measurements, so you can add a lot more columns, such as current, which is great if you're um, you know, determining the size of a fuse for a product. The, um, the way the program works is I have several buttons along the side. And again, this is just for an example to make it easy to explain. Each of these buttons is connected to a subroutine. And at this point, we'll go ahead and, and just take a brief look at the code that under, is under each of those buttons. So I'll open up the Visual Basic window. We'll start at the top of the program. So the first thing we need to do is we are using the Keysight I.O. library, so we need to go ahead and um, set that up. The nice thing about the Keysight I.O. library is we can use it over the USB bus, we can use it over LAN or GPIB, just simple as changing the address. So it's, it's got some nice functionality. The first um, subroutine is really opening the instrument. So again, we grab the address out of the Excel spreadsheet, and then we um, create a method to uh, talk to the AC source, and we'll use that throughout the rest of the program. The next step is to get the product in a known state. So we'll use um, several Skippy commands to set up the, um, how we want the display of the, the AC source to look. Um, it has a really nice display for power that I like, so I've chosen that one. Um, we also want to set up some protection so that we don't put too much um, voltage out. So that's the, the next part of um, getting this instrument to a known state. The output is still off, and so we move on to our next subroutine, which actually moves through the um, list of reading in the voltages and currents from the Excel spreadsheet. It also has a delay. Um, the delay there is really to let the um, DUT settle, so you can um, change that delay to make sure that the readings you're getting are, are accurate. The, um, once it's finished with the delay, then it goes ahead and um, turns the power supply back off. And then the, the last thing we need to do is just close our connection. So simply um, freeze up the resources after the connection has been closed. And then finally, we have our routine for querying the instrument for errors. And, and again, the way we wrote that subroutine is we can run it pretty much independently, whether the connection's been open or not, it just reopens the connection. So it's really a nice uh, subroutine, used a lot while we were debugging the program. So there you have it, a simple way to um, use AC source. When you're making these measurements around the world, you're gonna end up with a lot of data. So there's a lot of different frequency and voltage combinations. You probably are testing multiple DUTs since it's an Excel spreadsheet, it's easy to save off the sheet for each of your DUTs. The other thing that's really nice is this is a pretty easy setup to replicate. So if you're working with a manufacturer halfway across the world, they can easily have the same setup and you, and you can compare data. So I love using Excel. It just gives you a, a great way to document your results and share them. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.